put on a new uh, new bearing block for the gyro. There's some lightning holes here now. Don't need all that material there. Alright, so we're about halfway through. You can see now it's cutting out the, uh, the outer diameter. Looking pretty good. There's just some uh, half inch aluminum plates. And uh, I've milled it down, milled it down here just to lose a bit of weight where I don't need the strength. And I put a few lightning holes in it. Coming around the corner there. Nice and slow. Looks to be a fairly decent uh, tip load there. So, uh, yeah, I'll shoot another little video now after the part comes off, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully, this one will be less complex than the last one and uh, fewer pieces that I got to bolt together and stuff like that, right? So, we'll see. All right, here's the uh, here's the finished part. Turned out pretty good. So I'm going to get uh, a flange bearing up here and a flange bearing down here, and that's where my rotor shaft is going to come up through right there. And then I got to drill a hole through here, and that's going to be the pivot point like this. And then my pre-rotator motor is going to bolt on here. That's why they're elongated. So I can slide the motor back and forth. And uh, get the right backlash on the gears here. And these are just lightning holes. Like that. And then of course, right here i got to put a hole. And thread that to 3 millimeters. And uh, that will be for the two control arms. So they'll be able to attach there like this. And then go up and down and left and right like that so basically all I got to do now is make a little U block that goes here for the pivot and go up and down so one piece design uh, simpler than the other one and it should hold a shape better obviously it's pretty thick material and it's not very heavy so you know with all the nuts and bolts I had on the other one maybe maybe comparable weight I don't know we'll see alright perfect